the past. It's not my name. Can I come? Sure. Where are we? The classroom. Didn't you say we we're going back in time? We don't have the production value for that. approximately 4.6 billion years ago when other stars died. Elements from those stars and other places in the galaxy, including hydrogen and helium, came together to form a big old gas thing that is the sun. <laughs> other stars created new elements in their cores by squeezing elements together in a process called nuclear fusion. Vision. The process starts when stars fuse hydrogen atoms into helium atoms. Helium atoms then fuse to create beryllium atoms, um, and so on, until fusion in the star's core has created every element up to iron. Wow, that's really cool. How are the heavier elements made, like the ones found on the ice axis? When a big star explodes, the rest of the elements on the periodic table are formed. Wow. What happens when our star explodes? It won't explode like other big stars, but it will create a nebula and the cycle of the ice axe go on forever. Now let's get on to the real part of the ice axe's history. Where are we now? 2.6 million years ago, the humans first invented tools. In a way, it's a proto-human, because we've come to a time before humans have evolved to the point we have. So it just doesn't have all the capabilities we have now, I guess. This barbarian is making some of the first tools used by humans. Crude, but effective. I can't believe ancient humans used ice axes. They didn't. This is just the logical build-up to their invention. Dude, no way. Are we actually going to talk about the ice axe now? Yes, my child. In 1786, there are some illustrations that show French doctor Michael Gabriel Picard who, along with Jacques Balmont, used a long, straight wooden staff with a metal tip to get up the alpine hills. Balmont also had a small carpenter's hatchet attached to his belt. Before this, not many people had reached the highest peaks of the Alps. It would take until 1840 for the company of Gravel to merge these two tools into one, the ice axe. What did the early ice axe look like? The first models had a vertical edge with the cutting edge aligned with the direction of the, of the shaft. This model last, lasted up until 1860, where the edge shifted to its current position, perpendicular to the shaft. Wait, I'm so confused. Why am I here? Because the ice axe is the single most important invention ever created. <sighs> Forky, follow me.
know do we have the ice axe? No, who cares about the ice axe anyways? <gasps> How dare you? Don't be such a fucking dicker! Sorry. The ice axe has been used to climb the tallest mountains known to man. This single invention has saved lives and helped us touch the sky. But sadly, it has also killed one of our dearest friends, which is also where I got the inspiration for this hair. I'm so sorry, who was it? His name was Leon Trotsky. Stalin had his henchmen kill him in 1940. Dream. We gotta tell everyone about the way the ice acts. Wait, but but how? That's not your problem. Get in. Just remember the way of the ice acts. It'll be your guide. Okay, master. Catch you on the flip side. 